Hey gang, David Sparks here from The Automators. In Automators podcast episode 14, we talked about automating your journal, and I wanted to share one way to do that with prompts. And I made one about a meditation journal, and I, I didn't have one before. This was a new thing I created for the show. It's a sample. I'm going to put a link uh, below or attached to this video so you can just download this to your Siri shortcuts and run it. Uh, it's written in a way that you don't have to use it just for me uh, meditation. You can use it for anything you want. But this is where it's at. Uh, I'm going to hit the ellipses here to display the journal. And it does basically two things. First, it collects information. And then it drops that information into a day one entry. Um, you could put it in day one or you could put it in text and, and use it somewhere else. But I've written this one for day one. So just kind of scrolling through it, the first... Uh, two blocks uh, give you a list of whether it's sitting or walking meditation. If you're into meditation, you know there's a couple different ways to do that. But I, that's the first bit of information I collect. So you, you put a list up and then you choose from the list with the prompt, is it sitting or walking? The next two blocks are how long it goes. And you could make that a number that you fill in. I made it choosing from a list because for me, usually it's 20, 40, or 60 minutes depending on how much time I have and how much I'm freaking out. So uh, I can pick from one of those three. And the next one is how do I feel afterwards? Um, it's For me, meditation can have three effects on me. It can make me uh, tired. It can make me agitated because I get into something in my head that I need to work on. Or it can make me feel kind of serene. So I just picked three emoji that match each one of those. I thought it was kind of fun to use emoji. And once again, it's a list, then you choose from a list and it saves that for you. Then I've got a couple of questions If there's challenges, you know, things that were going through my head during the meditation that I want to reflect on and just general reflections. And uh, those bits of information are nice prompts to create a journal for meditation for me. The last thing it does is it takes the current date and then it goes into day one and it creates a new entry and the entry uh, states meditation log and then the first thing it does is a magic variable where it grabs the little emoji face. The next thing it does, it's, it puts in the date uh, that we got just above here. Then it can uh, type the type of meditation, and this is a magic variable, um, which goes... Um, here, I'll just delete it and add it so you can see how I did that. It's a magic variable, and that's pulled from sitting or standing, which was the very first one we asked about. I'll tap right there. And you can see it's put it in there. Um, after that, it's the length, and I've added the word minutes afterwards. Uh, then we put in the text from challenges and reflections, and we're done. So it's a fairly simple uh, little day one entry. I have chosen a journal because I have a subscription to day one. I can have different journals for different things, and I've created a meditation journal. So let's go ahead and run it. I'll hit the play button in the top center. Is it sitting or standing? Let's say it's sitting. Let's say I did it for 40 minutes. And afterwards, I felt serene. So I'll tap on that, hap that little face there. Challenges. Reflections. I'll put none for this one. You don't want to hear about my reflections. I'll click OK. And now it goes in day one, and it creates that entry for me. And it's just a nice little journal entry. And running that series shortcut every day allows me to keep a journal of this stuff with the prompts I want. You could customize this journal to do anything from spending time with kids to just your daily log of events. Uh, it's not difficult to make these, and, and you could even make custom ones for different things that you want to journal. This is one of the simpler uses of Siri shortcuts. We're just collecting information and dropping it in. Uh, I'm going to go back to Siri shortcuts. And let's say if we wanted to, uh, and I'll, I'll duplicate this entry. So we'll click done, long press on it, then hit the little duplicate button and tap done. Okay, so uh, we're going to do this one without a day one entry. So in that case, what we would do is just create a text field. And I'm gonna go ahead and block and copy all that entry from day one. I'm gonna put it in that text field. I can delete the day one entry. And so now we have the text field. 
And then you can paste that text into the app of your choice. Maybe it's Bear or Ulysses um, or, you know, wherever you keep text on your iOS device. As we mentioned in the show, you could even put it into Dropbox. But now that's just given us the same data in simple text format. So if you don't want to use it with day one, you can use it with some other application. Anyway, like I said, it's not super difficult, but quite useful if you want to get better at journaling and using a little bit of automation. To learn more about this, listen to the entire episode 14 of The Automators. You can find that over at relay.fm slash automators slash 14. And you can also check things out I make over at maxbarkey.com. See you there.